What's up guys, welcome back. In today's video, I'm gonna be scalping, scarifying, touching up these edges, just getting ready to dominate for 2024. I'm old and it's gonna be a lot of walking, so let's go ahead and get into it. All right, so let's have a current look at the lawn, looking really good. One of the first things I'm super proud of being a DIY guy is I've got no POA going on. It really took me a few seasons to get that figured out and under control. I've been using Spectacle in the fall, followed up with Prodiamine, in the spring um i'll talk some more about that but i do split apps on both and i haven't found anything more effective uh scalping tons of benefits i'm gonna do it here uh, i'm gonna get out the trusty gm 1600 this is a brand new machine to me um one reason i'm gonna be scalping is to take down this height of cut uh it is up to about 0.75 so far i'm gonna be bringing it down closer to 0.25 um, I'm not trying to win any wards to scalp into the dirt, nor do I want to do that because it's just terrible for your reel to hit the dirt. All right, so to get us started on the scalp, I'm going to use the Honda HRX 217. Um, this mower has the 200 engine, uh, pretty powerful. I really love this rotary mower, but what it can go down to three quarters of an inch. Uh, that's pretty low and pretty good for a rotary mower. And what I'm going to plan to do with that is go ahead and knock down some of this fringe area that I let come up. I don't know, I mean, this is probably at two inches or so uh, right here. So I'm gonna start out with that before I switch over to the Toro. All right, so I've got the fringe taken down here with the Honda. This is on the lowest setting. As you can see, it looks pretty dang ugly right now, um, but that's just uh, the nature of it. Um, I'm dumping these clippings in the back of my truck here, and from here, I'm gonna clean it up and go a little bit lower with the reel. Uh, a lot of people, you know, well, you're gonna have to kind of step down in notches. You don't have to just drop your mower to the lowest setting and it's gonna stall out most of the time anyway. So even on this one with, uh, you know, a good engine like that, I still had to bring it down in a couple of different uh, steps, but here we are at the lowest. That's what we look like. So again, I'm gonna get out the reel now, go even lower. Um, a lot of people ask me, why don't I burn? I mean, I personally don't do it because, one, I live in an HOA that would absolutely lose their mind. Two, I guess I'm a bit chicken. And three, the black soot just gets everywhere, and I don't want my kids tracking in ash and black soot for weeks. So that's why I don't burn. Um, you know, I'm not saying don't do it. I'm just saying I don't do it. So just another thing that kind of sucks about scalping is you're going to have an awful lot of clippings. Um, and my property, I don't have anywhere in the backyard where I can just go dump these or anything. So um, this year or this season, I'm going to put them in the back of my bed. I've got a tarp down here where I can just kind of pull this. Um, but bagging it, I found, is a lot more work. So I'm going this route, and I call it a landfill, and it's like 30 bucks to dump it. So that's what we're doing. All right, guys, so I went ahead and dropped it down to 0.25. I uh, wasn't getting very many clippings at half an inch, so we are now at 0.25. I'm keeping this liquid wrench uh, dry lube on the reel and bed knife just because this dormant turf, you know, it doesn't have a lot of moisture in the blades, so hoping that might help save my reel just a little bit, but uh, we should be getting some clippings now. So you can really see now my line's cutting through here. It's getting low cutting off the green. I obviously don't care about laying perfect stripes or anything for this. I'm just out here to scalp it. Check out how fine these clippings are. I do this in order now. Um, you want to scout before you start messing around with mulch and all because it's just going to get all these clippings in your 
uh, your bed. So that's the order. I do it. I, you know, I first I transplant, you know, our flower beds look like hell right now, but they're gonna get fixed, trust me. So, you know, after I get this scalp done, we have finished planting and transplanting. So mulch will kind of be the last step, but just keep that in mind. You know, you don't want to come out here and scalp uh, after you do fresh mulch. All right, guys, so the very next thing I like to do when the scalp is done is I like to run this scare fire. Um, before I had this outlet, I did have the uh, little Greenworks electric dethatcher, and it is exactly, if you look at this cartridge, exactly the same. This one, you know, obviously cordless and gas. Um, this thing's very expensive. I got a, my buddy to hook me up, so that's how I ended up with it. But I like to run it, especially kind of in the shaded areas where this grass you know, it gets real matted down and I just feel like the scare fire uh, pulls a bunch of that stuff up um, and just helps it breathe a lot better. Uh, I don't run it super aggressive. I mean, you can run this thing deep, deep into the ground and I never do that. I more or less just kind of tickle the surface, pick up a bunch of the dead junk. Another thing while we're talking about Alec, I really think these guys are in bad shape for sales in the US, man. Uh, the price point of these things, I mean, this machine last time I checked was over four grand, not even including the scare fire. So, you know, with Rolux and, and um, the Revolution and all those mowers coming in at a way better price point, I think the old Alec sales are going to be hurting here in the U.S. guys now we need to turn our attention towards the edges i always freshen up these edges at the beginning of the season uh, i am still using my corona edge master tool uh, just a manual tool i think this thing is like 20 or 30 bucks at the big box stores i've been using this tool for several seasons and uh, i just really love it i also like the little half moon manual tools i think those are just as good uh, I do prefer these over like a shovel or a spade. I just think they're easier to use if you're doing a lot of edging. Um, the natural live edge, I just, in my opinion, you can't beat it and it's cheap because it's free essentially. I mean, you're not having to pay for any type of border and the look is just unmatched. Once you're done, it should look something like that. Final thing for today, I'm going to be using the rotary scissors to get close to these curbs. You know, as you know, greens mowers can't get close to the curb. So I'm going to run the rotary scissors here to get the edges uh, cut down so they can look nice and crispy right near the road. These things are great in a vertical fashion as well to really keep your edges KFC crispy. All right, so here's the final shave. I couldn't be happier with the GM 1600. I think I'm even gonna run it this season uh, as my main rig. So next up, uh, I will be probably fertilizing here as the temps continue to rise. And then I'm gonna get these beds mulched in and we should be well into game time. Anyways, you guys drop me a comment, like, sub, and I'll see you in the next one.